Hey there, fellas. Today we're coming at you with yet another experiment. We'll be having a bit of fun with these here balls. We've got two basketballs and two soccer balls. And here's what we have in mind. You might remember a recent experiment of ours, when we did a makeshift suspension on magnets. Well, in today's video, we're looking into doing another DIY setup, but this time we're going for an air suspension. Using these balls, of course. You see, one of the well-known problems with these cars is actually the rear springs. In order to get the car up a bit higher, most people go with a simple solution and make themselves a set of rubber spacers, which they slip underneath the rear springs for a bit more ground clearance. This car already came fitted with a set of spacers, which are about 20 mil thick or maybe even a bit more than that, like 25. Anyways, the car does gain a bit of clearance when you slap these on. So yeah, this is actually a pretty decent solution. But that's not how we roll around here, which is why we'll be fitting these here balls, and immediately after that, we'll be going out for a test drive. Let's do this. DIY air suspension, replacing springs with basketballs. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, we've got everything ready. Let's try this out. It should look something like this, with our seats in place. How much air you want to put in? 45, 60 psi? 30. Okay, let's give it a shot. It's already rock hard. Maybe that's enough? Now the second one. Fantastic! Alright, so the basketballs are in place. Let's bring the car down and make sure it isn't too low. We might have to inflate them a bit. What's up? The suspension loading up? Slowly but surely. How are they feeling down there? Severely crushed, eh? And the car is planted. So we've lowered the car. Everything's looking good. Okay, so first I remove that sport steering wheel. And then I try to get inside. Taking it slowly. Okay, I'm in. Awesome. Okay. It works! Lovely! Let's head out. I see you've decided to rock the car. It's rocking just fine. Yeah, it does feel pretty soft. I can hear a bit of rubbing. Must be the shock absorbers. Coming into contact with the ground. Sounds about right. Okay, now we can drive forward. We're going over some bumps. So far, so good. Seems to work okay. Apparently, this basketball air suspension setup actually works. The suspension is really soft. I say we pick up a bit of speed. Without getting too carried away. Same way we always do it. The car is rocking a bit as if the shocks were... You know when you're driving behind a car and... Uh, oh, hello. That's it. We're done. That was fast. Let me just limp my way over there. Just as I was bragging about the awesome ride comfort. That's precisely when the basketballs decided to quit. The car is sitting like a rocket on a launch pad. How far did I go? Like 50 meters? When the basketballs decided to let go? 
Right, I guess it's time to replace them with some soccer balls. We have got some quality stance happening here. But we came prepared for such a situation. We've got a jack and an air compressor with us. But how do we get the jack underneath the car? Check out what happened to the basketballs, guys. This one is quite obviously ruptured. This one blew out politely, so to speak. First that one popped, then this one did. Bray, time for us to whip out that second pair of balls. Where's that compressor? That's enough. Lovely. All right, fellas. We are good to go. We've installed some soccer balls. Let's keep driving. A bit slower this time. I can't see a thing. The car is like a rocket ship waiting for launch. On these balls. Wow, the ride comfort is sublime. I am loving how compliant the suspension is. I say we flip around. I can hear something rubbing. I reckon that's the shocks touching the pavement. Still though, at least it drives. This air suspension setup actually works. Fantastic. It is rocking quite a bit, though. It's time to pick up some speed. I can get it to rock around quite a bit. These soccer balls seem to be holding up quite nicely. This is great. Much better than those basketballs. At least we got something right. Damn it! We have a problem. We've got a busted ball. It did last longer than that basketball, though. Awesome. Okay, so the soccer ball on the right did burst. But we have more where that came from. There's not a ton of pressure in these balls, and they've got a lot of weight pressing down on them. When one lets go, there's a sudden increase in pressure on the other one. But they were able to handle the weight of the car, and that's with me inside. It looks to me like the soccer balls are a bit more durable. Bring it down slowly. There you go. You're doing good. Take it easy. Careful. Looking good. You want to maybe place a bet? Whether we make it back to home base or not. It all depends on how you drive. I'm going to be taking it very easy. Maybe you shouldn't take it easy. The thing is that... <laughs> you hooligan. Anyway, so we've got everything installed. Albeit now we do have different balls on either side. No, it doesn't matter. Let's flip around and head back home. Get it into gear. Careful now. That's it. We have failed miserably. It's over. The ball blew up right away. Damn it. That sucks. I barely even made that U-turn and the ball just let go. 
I reckon if you were to get a ball for like $100 with some serious reinforcement, it would actually be able to last for a while. Okay. We've got them in there. Now we carefully drive home. Awesome. Fingers crossed that this ball lasts a bit longer than the other one. Looking good. There go the shocks again. With their scraping. The car is rocking around. You can also feel it shaking a bit. This patch of road was actually pretty bad. Looks like they fixed it. That's good. They didn't do a great job, but that's normal. It's still better than it used to be. Now we make a turn. Oh wow, every imperfection. The sensation you get in the cabin. I'm trying to say that the suspension is really supple. Though it doesn't last too long. Coming up to a bump. Careful now. We've made it past that spot, which was pretty treacherous. That's a relief. It barely even took a jump, and the ball just burst. I see we just keep going. Okay, so what have we learned here? This sort of ball-based air suspension setup actually works, but it doesn't last too long. The balls just keep popping. Just one soccer ball still remains intact. It was able to handle a lot of load for a serious amount of time. Though it does look a bit like a pancake now. It's more of an oval than a ball. It might actually work as a football, I don't know. In any case, this setup actually worked. The car was able to drive. The balls we used weren't expensive, which is probably why they lasted as long as they did. I'm sure if you buy yourself something a bit more pricey and higher quality, it would last somewhat longer. In any case, this experiment seems to have been a massive success. You can actually drive around on balls. You can even get a genuine airbag effect happening. You can bring the car up by inflating them, or get it down really low if you let some air out. Right, fellas, don't forget to send in those suggestions, subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and that's all I have for you. Catch you later!